the baby's gonna come out and FedEx is gonna ask, am I really the father? Because genetics do not work on this mod. I'm gonna name some of these horses really quick just to give them some personality before I make them have children. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be exploring the brand new swim update on 1.18.2. It is available on other versions that I can see, but this was just released today, so I don't know how buggy it's gonna be. I don't know all of the information, I'm just looking from the wiki. This is going to be introducing the new simplified gender update, so it is horse gender, gestation, breeding, cool down, and also gelding, which is pretty exciting for swim. I really quickly just wanted to say that I am no longer involved with the SWEM team and I haven't been since earlier this year, so if you guys have any questions, I recommend going to their Discord. I don't want to provide any misinformation, so please go and look at their Discord. I'm no longer in it, so I'm not going to be seeing anything with the updates. Even though I'm not involved with the team anymore, I still love the mod and I still want to make videos including the mod, so enjoy the video. Uh, so we got here our what i just took a screenshot we we got the swim horse spawn egg here we clear up a little spot i'm not in my multiplayer server because uh we haven't updated to the newest version yet and i don't know when we will because apparently this one has a good bit of bugs understandably it was just released the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to spawn two swim horses and i just realized that i don't really know the gender swim horse tame okay that's a mare that is also mayor. So you see the dilemma here, you two? Um, y'all can't have a kid. Biologically, I mean. I'm not I'm not not saying y'all can't adopt or something, but um uh, biologically speaking, y'all can't reproduce. Are you freaking kidding me? How many mares am I gonna have? Oh, <laughs> this is so painful. <laughs> How many mares is Peachy gonna collect before she gets a darn stallion? Actually, no, this is not a joke anymore. I want to get one naturally. Okay, this has to be a bug. Is this a bug? Be for real with me right now. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're the chosen one. You're the chosen one, Anakin. Oh, I yeah, you. Yeah. You are the chosen one. Okay, so we got the chosen horse. I'm going to name some of these horses really quick just to give them some personality before I make them have children. <laughs> Sorry, that sounds so bad. Should I name a FedEx? I name him FedEx. Why not? It shows his gender. Look at that. If you guys can't see above the name when you hover, it shows the gender. That's so cool. That way you don't have to be like, is this a boy horse or a girl horse? Or is it a boy horse that uh, that got its balls chopped off? I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I should probably say castrated. Be professional with it. I'm going to name this one over here Fox. And I don't know if I should name the other ones. I'm gonna name this one Snowy. I know my naming skills are supreme. Don't steal my names, by the way, please. I work so hard on making them up in my head. Thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna name one Chalky Milk. I'm gonna name you Chalky Milk because I have Chalky Milk on my desk and it makes me think of that. Okay, so for the named ones, we have Moo Moo, FedEx, Chalky Milk, and Fox. What I really quickly wanna do is I wanna get another stallion, if that's even possible. Thank God. This is Gooseberry's distant cousin, duck duck i'm sorry i'm about to do something real unfortunate if you go to the swim horse breeding you can see it says advance which means the horse needs to be pregnant in order for the pregnancy to happen immediately this kind of skips the gestation change duck which change a female go back go back duck geld which if you guys don't know what a gelding is it is a castrated stallion which means they are infertile their baby making abilities were taken away there's a lot of reasons why people do this irl Oh, reset cooldown in pregnancy. Okay, so you can reset the cooldown in pregnancy. I wonder if that like gets rid of the pregnancy. Is that just like the command abortion? I don't know. That sounds kind of weird. I'm going to geld him. The symbol, instead of being the blue, is now like a gray. I don't know if it's purple. I can't really see. Is it purple? Chat, is that purple? Or is it like a very dark gray? I'm getting real close to my screen right now. It looks a little purple. It looks like a little tinge of purple. You can see right here, it says gelding and it says covers. If you guys don't know what covers means, it means how many foals they've either produced or had. Naturally, stallions usually have more covers than mares have births because mares, it takes longer time to gestate and have foals IRL than it takes for stallions to impregnate a mare. Stallions can impregnate 
a couple of mares a day versus mares who can only have a baby once every like year or so. Don't quote me on that. I don't know anything really about horse pregnancy other than like it takes them 11 months to have a baby. You guys are all peeing everywhere. Oh my god. A lot of people are asking about lineage. For right now, you can just view it by the vet bag. So it says mother, which is the dam, and the father, which is the sire. I don't think you can see anything past that. Usually, like I said, in lineage, you'd be able to see like, I can show a little graph, but you'll be able to see the dam, the sire, the grand dam, the grand sire. It, there's a lot of different things that you should be able to see with horse lineage, but having just the simple stuff there is really nice. That way you can say, oh yeah, my horse is bred from this horse and that horse, and someone's like, well, prove it. Well, there's your proof. It also says that the foals are default owned by the mother of the mare. So for example, if I bred Snowy to FedEx and FedEx was owned by a friend, well, the foal would be born under my ownership. Usually a stud thing, you know, like, hey, can I use your horse for stud? That type of thing. Now on the idea of genetics, because I've gotten so many questions about this today. And like I said, I'm not even part of the project anymore. So I don't know why I'm getting these questions, but uh, I don't really know where they're planning to go with genetics and having horses have certain stats and certain traits. As you guys know, it's a very basic setup right now. There's no traits. There's no personality really. Um, they're just pixel horses, uh, which sucks to say because a lot of people wanted that. But I do know that they have like a roadmap available on their Discord because they are planning to continue the project to a point. You guys can check that out. So I don't really know where they're heading with it, but all I know is they don't have those currently. So if you think the foal is going to come out looking like mommy or daddy, it's not. They don't have genetics. They just have like simple breeding. We're really quickly going to take FedEx up to Moomoo and we're going to breed FedEx and Moomoo. I don't know why I unleashed Moomoo. What happens when you use a breeding token or use the rose feed You'll see right here, it says in love. Now this little red dot means that the mare is not ready or is in cool down, which is a little confusing because it says is in love, which means it's ready to breed. You can see there's a little counter that's slowly going down. That means that you have that amount of time to get a stallion next to the mare and also give them a breeding token, a rose food scoop, or sorry, an opened rose feed. Um, if you are on a server that has horse breeding tokens enabled, that means that your rose feed is no longer going to be usable as breeding. For example, my server has the horse breeding tokens enabled, which means if you have rose feed, you can't breed your horses with the rose feed. You have to use two breeding tokens. This is honestly just, I think, for multiplayer use overall, just so people don't like overbreed their horses. On my server, my breeding tokens are a little bit more expensive, which means people have to work more to get the foals. You can see that the hearts have disappeared, they bred and everything, and Muma right here has this little green dot. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a pixel. It's a little pixel of a green dot that is slowly going to continue down all the way to the end of the box. It's kind of like genetic animals if you've ever seen that where like the little gender symbol like fills up slowly. Well, this is from left to right. I really quickly just also want to say that they have on the wiki page, which I'll leave in the description, they do have future features that they want to do like base coats with various genetic expressions, overlay markings, genetic skills and affinities. So that is planned. I don't know like when they'll ever have that out, but it is planned. So that is a hope for the future. What I also hope they implement is a way to see what horse has what covers. For example, if you, uh, where's my vet bag? I need to stop deleting things. I need to stop doing that. You can see he has covers one, but when you hover over it or kind of like look, look right here, you can't see what horse he's produced or covered. That would be really cool to be able to see what horse has produced what foals. And that way you can see kind of like the success of them. I feel like that would be a whole other system that would be tied in with lineage or with like show earnings. If SWEM were open end in any way, that would be really cool to see like a developer take it a little bit further, kind of leaning towards like shows and stuff like that for servers. Because imagine you can see how much your horse has earned over a certain amount of time, or you can kind of see which foals your horse has produced or had. And if those foals have been successful or if those foals are passed on, that kind of thing. That would be a really cool thing to implement, especially into just a mod where, you know, you want there to be some realism with the horses. I'm really quickly going to have the baby just be born because I'm so lazy. Okay, so it's only advanced to a certain point, I guess. I'll just wait for the baby to be born. I don't mind waiting. I'm a patient person. I feel like I'm missing something. So I'm looking over the wiki being like, where, where is everything? I'm going to prepare the baby's name. We're going to name it Lilo. Wait, what if it's a, what if it's a boy? Oh my gosh. Well, hello. I'm sorry. Hello, love. Oh, it is a girl. Okay. <laughs> 
I was like, what if it's a boy? You have one births and one covers. And if you right click her with the vet bag, why did I get rid of the vet bag again? I just do it so like subconsciously. Oh wow, would you look at that? There's no dammer sire. Okay, that's a little odd. Is that normal? I'm gonna reset the cooldown for FedEx. FedEx is gonna have another kid. Let's go FedEx. Okay, Snowy, it's your time to shine. Okay, she is pregnant. And I advanced the pregnancy, so we'll see where that goes. Oh, look at the baby. I'm gonna name it Bruce. I have a good idea that it's gonna be a stallion. I knew it. Oh, Bruce is handsome. All right, Bruce, I see you. Okay, so Bruce is claimed. It still says that there's no father or mother, so I'm not sure if that's if that's like a known bug, but I do know that it is possible to see the father and mother in the 1.20. I just didn't do the 1.20 because I had the 1.18 like already installed and ready to go, and I was like, oh. From what I can see, it says that this is only available for 1.18.2 and 1.20. So if you're somebody who plays in 1.16.5, I really do recommend moving up to 1.18 or 1.20. I would definitely go for 1.20 because 1.18 is not optimized at all. If you guys want any more information, I will leave the link for this wiki in the description. I will update if there's any big updates on Swim. But so far, this one looks like one of the most recent. I wanted to make a quick video on it because when I first made a video on Foles, I was super excited. You guys were super excited. So so maybe this will pass on some more excitement. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Stay healthy and safe and hydrated, and I will see you in the next video or stream.